Okay, we are on the last section of the developer beginner trail. This is exciting. Okay, so on this part, we are going to discuss about choose the right search solution. Okay, so what are we talking about here? Isn't Salesforce already have an existing search? Yes. So if I launch my playground here, let's launch one, our developer beginner. So Salesforce already have its own search functions, right? So what are we discussing here? This is a discussion about creating your own search function. Now this search Salesforce box is a very powerful search box already, right? You can search through all the records and you can choose what records you want to search and so on. So you know about this search function. So on this trail, we are going to talk about creating our own searches, uh, whatever the application may be on your own um, organization. So search the Salesforce way. This is... Um, an article about how the whole uh, search works in Salesforce. It describes you um, the logic on how the search works about token and how it's going to perform your search really fast. Please feel free to read the whole thing, but I'm going to just skip this and give you the essence of what this is all about. Okay. It's talking about the search index, how it's returning um accurate results and it's going to do spell checks it's going to do uh, variations and stuff right so if you search for uh, bunny bunny slippers for example here it's also going to search for rabbit slippers see or even bunny slipper with a singular so it's a very smart search algorithm but you get to use it. You don't have to actually think about how do I want to do this. This is out of the box Salesforce search power. You just use it. So when you develop your own search using either Salesforce object query language or SOCL or Salesforce object search language or SOCL, using these two, you, you will automatically already tapping into the power of Salesforce search. So you don't even have to think about this, right? It's already there. So you just use SOCL and SOCL. So let's uh, talk about uh, this more. So uh, what is the difference between SOCL and SOCL? We've talked about this uh, on the previous trail, even with examples and, and querying and retrieving data and we see uh, how it looks like. We even um, implement it on our Apex classes and stuff. So you should still remember what the difference between SOCL and SOCL, right? SOCL is basically an, a specific uh, query. So you already know what you want to get. So for example, you want to get uh, a data from the account object or the opportunity object or the contact object or the user object, right? And you can only query from one particular object. With Sosol, you can you can query multiple objects at once. Okay, so that's the the biggest difference. So we can see um, the example here. So you can you can send queries with um, two protocol with the SOAP API and REST. So you can query using the REST or the SOAP, both SOCL and SOCL, right? So what's the whole point of discussing all this? The whole point is for you to see that you are able to create your own custom searches. Wait, before we even um, dive in on that, yeah, 
So let's answer the quiz here. When is it a good time to create a customized search solution? So for example, you are developing an external knowledge base for user support, right? This is bad, this is just wrong, this is wrong, and this is wrong. So number two, what differentiates social from SOCL? The syntax is different. Social searches the search index instead of the org database, instead of the records, that's right. Social searches more efficiently when you don't know in which object the data resides. That's right. So all of the above. Social works with REST, SOAP, REST, SOAP, and APEX or SOCL only. Here, it works with REST, SOAP, and APEX. So let me see what's the next one because I want to show you uh, build search for common use cases. Yeah. Let's, let's, I'm going to show you the example on this uh, second trail, which we are going to combine because there's not much on this. This is more theory. So let's just finish the quiz here. Let's see what is, um, what else is important? You know, the, the query protocols and then, you know, how this is actually doing. Uh, it's actually picking up the, from the rest the suggested article rest so you can use this kind of thing i'm going to show you on a real life example as well and sokal and social what's the difference you know basically it's most mostly theory so please read through the article i'm going to just get uh get the points and uh continue the next unit here let's see build search for common use cases right so when are you going to use this custom searches? You can search within a single object. This is using a saucer, right? So find the term returning object type name or find see March 2016 email returning campaign. So it's going to search this as the keywords. So this is the syntax of doing social you can also do search within multiple objects so find the term returning what object object type name one object object type name two and then you know other objects and then uh, find this recycled materials returning product two so you can search multiple objects all right you can also search within custom objects with the underscore underscore C. This is social, right? This is social and this is SOCL. It's just a query. Also, this is not even... Um, okay, I'll show you the example at the end of the video. So this is SOCL. Um, it can't do multiple object search. It's a single object search, right? Yeah, so, so it has to be social. Please read through this and let's do the quiz because there's not much hands-on we can do here. What does a search for a single object look like in social? So find the term returning the object name. This one, right? What does a search for multiple objects look like in social? Find the term returning object, comma object, comma object, different kind of object. Right? So, how does a custom object search differ from other queries? It includes underscore underscore C. This is really basic. All right? Okay, let's get the point. And continue to the last one. Optimize search result. So, we can uh, create efficient text searches here. Find, for example, find the email address in email fields returning contact that's pretty cool right in email fields so all fields which has the email data type is going to search through it one line look at that that's awesome right and this is all the variant of um, what you can do like find term returning the object name find the search term returning 
object name and what field define the fields right or find the term the search term you are searching for returning object and then the field name and then you can sort it or order order by name and then you can limit it just return 10 records not the whole the whole 10,000 or something if there's 10,000 matching it so for for pagination for example you wanna you, you wanna paginate um, your search re results like 10 results at a time so you can limit by 10 and then find um, search term returning the object the field order and then offset 25 this is the same like like the the pagination thing okay so now lastly you can also um, use the with keyword with division with data category with network with price book and this is the example of the social you can do all right so this is the difference in social if you want to limit the data there's a search you can do in search group so called you use the where statement specify the data return uh, in the response returning what you define and then just select what field you want right sort same thing the with same thing so display suggested results so this is how you do your api query so for for this particular example if you want to search suggested article title that matches a query string you can use this in the developer console with this kind of syntax your your api version and then slash search and then using this suggest suggest title matches question mark q which is the query put your search string here bunny rabbit usb stick or something the language what language are you searching on the article the published status is it published or not so this is the actual example suggest title matches q which is query equals race tips so the search is race tips and language equals english united states en underscore us the published status is online so just search the online one and this is what you will receive from the query and you can code what you want to do okay so next is about synonym um, we talk about bunny and rabbit being the same thing you can also define your own synonym like for this example a usb is the same as a thumb drive is the same as flash stick and it's the same as memory stick you can define that from synonym so for example if i go to my playground here and then go to setup and then go to synonym synonym groups synonyms einstein search and then you can create a new synonym group right so for example i want to create a new one um flash drive i don't know whatever you want there right and then thumb drive and just keep keep adding it keep adding that more and then you can de decide this is an english language and just save that all right so if i search thumb there some found um, in one of one synonym groups okay so it's already there and you can keep adding it you can keep adding it more and more and more and more so so that's the last ones um, let's go back here about synonyms and let's do the quiz here how do you create efficient text searches Limit what you're searching through and limit the number of results. 
shorten the search string, use social and rest. Only search the name field of the records. I would say use social and rest. Which rest resource adds auto suggest functionality? This one. Search suggested article title matches which we just read just now. What can admins do to influence the search result ranking? The synonym. There. And then boom. Oops, we got one wrong. How do we how do you create efficient text searches? Only search the name field of records. No. Maybe this efficient is a trick question. Boom! So we have finished the developer beginner, but I want to show you a real example of a search um, in a custom application. Because why would you need to buy uh, to build a search function where Salesforce already have a powerful one here, where everybody just can search from here, right? So, for example, you are building a custom application like this example here. I'm going to blur out my details. So this is a custom virtual terminal application to process orders, okay? So, product name. For example, I want to um, order a new name package. So I'm going to type new name here, okay? New name. See, new name magazine. We're going to send them a magazine. And then how many? Just one. So this is all custom application. And then I'm going to send out a partner package. Partner package. So present new partner package, CNPP. Pretty cool, right? And then how much? One is free as well. You can even see the stock here, right? It's in stock. This is all custom searches. So when you're creating your own um, application, the power of search is really powerful. So that's just a quick example of how you can utilize this search function, your the circle and the social search in your own visual force pages. This is a visual force page here. And yeah, search whatever you want to search and what, however you want to do it, right? And that's basically um, how you can apply it. So this will wrap things up with, uh, with our developer beginner um, trailhead. Congratulations, you did a great, awesome job. Good job, honestly. This has been a pretty long trail, right? So you finished the whole thing. I will see you in the developer intermediate trail where we're gonna play more and deeper and probably we are going to start creating real applications like this one or maybe a bit simpler one than this. Eventually, more complicated things like this one. I'll see you on the next trailhead and good job. Boom. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce App Exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video, and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself bada bing bada boom